Alright guys, so here's our first walleye. Just barely under the limit, so we can't keep him, so I'm about to release him. Caught him on a minnow. Brian here got a really great hook set. It was on this uh, reel with a little bell on there. What's up guys, this is Zach from Andes Escape, and real quick I want to go over a quick tip on how to hook minnows for walleye. This is how I hook a minnow for walleye fishing. Right now I'm using 6 pound test line, a size 2 hook, or this is actually a size uh, 1 hook, and it's a red hook and I went right through the nostril of the minnow. So basically I opened the, the minnow's mouth and you want the minnow's mouth to be open so water can go through its mouth and through its gills. If you hook it through the top and the bottom mouth, then it can't open its mouth and it won't live as long because water's not going through its gills at the same rate. But basically you want that hook tip to be facing towards the back of the fish so that way when the walleye comes from behind and grabs it, it's more likely to be hooked than if the hook shank was pointed this way. And also this keeps the minnow upright real well and swimming. And this minnow has actually been on this hook for about 12 hours now and it's still kicking strong. So I really like the nostril hook because they live so long. And make sure to only go through the top of the mouth and not the bottom and the top of the mouth. So I hope you try this out. And again, six pound test line. I'm gonna drop them back down here. And uh, usually these minnows I find stay alive all night. I just checked one recently and if you hook them through the nostril, they live a long time. Um, sometimes as much as 24 hours with the nostril hook. Sometimes I hook them through the back but usually I find they don't live quite as long and they don't flutter and stay as lively on the hook. All right guys, so now I wanna show you how to hook a minnow for jigging for walleye. And so there's a couple ways to do this. If you're gonna be casting, you wanna hook the minnow through the skull itself because that's the hardest part on the minnow. And so I'll go ahead and I go through the minnow's mouth. And then I go up through the skull, right where we decided earlier would be a good area. And then the skull is the hardest part, and so now when I jig it and I'm casting, it'll stay on the hook, it'll give a good action. The minnow doesn't have to be alive because the jig gives it the action. And uh, now I really quickly want to go over how to jig with the minnow for walleye if you want the minnow to be alive. So this is more for vertical jigging. When you're casting, it needs to stay on the hook, so you need to go through the skull. But when you're vertical jigging, it'll stay on the hook if you just hook it through the nostril and the minnow will stay alive. So it'll give you a little bit of extra action. And so basically you want to go through up the upper mouth and through the nostril right there. And usually I have the hook facing towards the head of the minnow. This way when the walleye comes up and grabs from the backside, it's more likely to get hooked. So there's how I hook a minnow for walleye when I'm jig fishing.